Hello there guys, thank you for stopping by. So Hi-Rite just launched a couple of three packages uh, for their asset catalog and I'm going to show you in this video how you could use this asset or import these assets to your project. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to download or get assets from Unity Store and put them in your project. Right, let's get into it. So go ahead and click on your project. Um, let's name it First World. And create project once you're inside your project you could see um, the welcome message from high rise studio where they have given all the documents and the links for you to learn about coding or user interface there's also on the right side if you could see there's a window by high rise studio which shows uh, how you would create scripts and also about the asset catalog how to add a bunch of players, uploading your projects, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna show it to you and we won't be going over here. By the way, if you are watching this first time and you do not know how to install Hi-Rise Studio or Unity with it, I do have an old previous video which shows how to install Hi-Rise Studio and create new worlds. So please go check it out. I think it was posted some months before, but I do not think anything's changed that much and it will still help you. So let's go ahead and close this tab. Right, so now we have our scene and game window in the center. The left side is hierarchy. We have our project files over here where you could access all those downloaded or imported assets. On the right side, you could see as the inspector window. So you can see currently in our project we have now mesh root in which we could see the layout which is the floor and the cube here um there's the directional light and our camera so let's go ahead and add some assets to it so to do that on the top right corner of the window you could see asset catalog go ahead and click on it now you could see all the assets which we saw on the high rise website you could also access them from the website so if you go to the highrise.create.game and move to the asset catalog tab you could see the same assets over here but if you go and try to download it from here it would say that access the catalog via the high rise studio assets catalog menu you could open it from here or just simply switch to the window and the unity editor and you could find this on the left side of the window you could see all these categories um for example structures you could get all those walls and floors in the furniture you could find stuff like chairs bench door um there's a bunch of other categories you could explore but if you go to the all you could see all these categories in one place right on the top left corner you could see the smart checkbox so if you just check it on you could see all these smart assets so what exactly smart assets does is they come equipped with a um, lua logic which uh, allowed them to perform some actions so let's go ahead and click um, on the key code gate and once you click or select an asset uh, you could see on the right side there's a picture of the asset and also a description what it does for example in here it, this says password protect the numbish gate with ui numpad so this is what you will be getting when you click on install there's also this heart shaped icon by which you could add this asset to your light assets which you could find in the list on the left side of the asset catalog and here it says light and you could see that asset has been added to your light window so for this tutorial, we are just going to focus on the normal assets and not the smart assets. So I'm just going to uncheck this guy and go to all. You could see all these assets provided by Hi-Rise. Also, there are other assets which are provided and created by other creators. So go ahead and try to support them. Um, you could also upload your own assets into the asset catalog, which I will be showing you in the later videos. But for now, we are just going to go ahead and select one of these asset packs. Uh, as you can see, there are some free assets and there are some paid assets. For example, this Halloween Lantern, you could see you have an option to buy it for 1000 gold. Let's go ahead and select a free item to add into our project. Let's go with this wooden box 4. 
You could click on the install or you could see this wee little guy over the thumbnail. Just click on it. This green sign will tell you that the asset has been installed in your project. You could also see in the inspector window, it says installed. Now close this. And in our project window, you could see a new folder added called downloads. Go ahead and click on it. Now you could see the asset we just downloaded is in the folder. Open it and you could see this within box prefab. You need to look for a prefab which says within box for prefab or any other name of the asset with the prefab and just just drag it to your scene window like that there you go that's your first three asset added to your world you can play with the object around uh, move it around with the move tool or rotate it uh, again if you don't know all these tools i've explained it in my previous video please go check it out um, don't worry about these folders they are just the materials and the um the fvx if you want to play around with it, go ahead. But all you need is the prefabs uh, where you could drag into the scene. If you want to know more about prefabs and how to make them or what are they, I can make a, another video um, revolving around it. So we don't um, have too much information in this video. So uh, let's go to the asset catalog again. Let's, let's go ahead and delete all these assets. Um... I'm going to make this base bigger. I'm gonna lead the cube as well. We have more space to put our assets around. There you go. Let's go to the asset catalog again. And this time we'll import a big package. Uh, for example, we'll select prison low poly. Just click on this V guy. Some bigger packages would take a lot of time um, but that's okay just go ahead and close this and you could see in our downloads folder we have a new folder with the asset we just downloaded so go ahead and open it um, look for the folder prefabs that's what you need to drag in the scene and there you go we have all these prefabs let's drag some items in our scene for example the chair the table bench oh by the way uh let me remind you to always use the nav mesh whenever you alter um an object for example the floor we resize it but we never baked it again what happens is let me show you if you go over here and turn on the navigation mesh you could see that the mesh is only covering this part that means you won't be able to walk on these area because we haven't baked it yet so go on the mesh and click on bake and see what happens. Boom. So now you could see it's automatically recognized all the space as the mesh and you could navigate all over. Also, whenever you put a new object, let me let me drag and wall for you. So no, that's not a wall. For example, if we drag a wall over here and press on play, you could see you could actually pass through the wall. It doesn't go around it, whereas these objects where we have baked it, it will go around it. So that's what happens if you do not bake it. So always remember to bake your mesh. Now, if we go ahead and bake it again, you could see this boundary around the wall. That means you cannot pass through the wall anymore. Let's go ahead and try it. And you click over here and it goes around it. That's all. Another method of getting assets is from Unity Store. Um, well, there are hundreds of other methods. You could always create your own assets as well. But if you are looking for free assets, um, other than the asset catalog, I think Unity Store does a pretty good job. There's always sales around all time of the year. Um, if you're looking for free asset, just search, for example, let's search for, let's just search for free assets. There you go. You could see a lot of assets over here, which are free and ready to go. So how would you take this in your project? Um, let's click on or let's select one of these assets. Uh, for example, let's go with a small model so I could show you better rather than going for heavy packages. Then we have to wait for it to load. I'm just going to type car free asset. There you go, so many cars over here. 
So I'm going to choose one good looking car. There you go. That's the best looking car out there. Go ahead and let's click on add to my asset. They'll ask you to sign in. You need to sign in. Once you're signed in, you could just click again, add to my asset. Um, just go on accept. And it will be added to your asset. Make sure you're logged in with the same ID and password in your Unity. So coming back to Unity, how do I get those assets I just added in the Unity store in my project? Um, you could see this little guy on the top left of your corner. It's, it's a cloud icon. Uh, it says manage services. Just go ahead and click on it. Or if you can't find it, you could always find it in the windows in the package manager. Now go ahead and click on packages Unity registry and drop down to my assets. And here you could see all the list of the assets you will be downloading in the future or you have already downloaded from the Unity store. For example, for us now, we just got this cartoon car free. Just go ahead and click on download. And after downloading, just click on import. It's going to show you the list of the files it's going to add into your project. Uh, most of the times, if you see any CSS or other scripts, which is not supported by high rise, make sure you uncheck it because most of the times it's going to be uh, creating a lot of errors in your project. Um, just go ahead and import it. And let's close this window. Let's go back to our assets folder. Now you could see the downloaded asset in our assets folder. Now, most of the times, whenever you download from the Unity asset store, it's not going to show up in downloads how we uh, get our assets from the asset catalog, but it's going to create a new folder in your assets folder over here. So let's go ahead and open this, uh, find our prefab and just drag over to our scene. Let's turn off our nav mesh. I could see it's all pink. That's because the asset we downloaded uses a different shader. And this will be happening a lot when you drag assets from Unity Store. So to fix this, you could just click on this drop down and go to the URP. That is the universal render pipeline and change it to simple lit. There you go. Let's delete this. Um, there's also another way of doing that. For example, when you install a big package, which has like thousands of assets, you do not want to go and change one by one. Uh, so for example, let's, let's undo this. I'll show you another way so that every asset in the package could be converted into URP. Just go ahead and click on window. And under rendering, find render pipeline converter. That's it. Go to the material upgrade and check this off. Click on initialize converters and click on initialize and convert. And there you go. So that was all for today's tutorial. But if you want to learn more about asset catalog and some specific assets and how to install them, for example, the smart assets, for example, the coins collector, the action bar, the passcode teleporter and other, please leave a comment and let me know what you want to learn. And I'll try to make a simple video out of it. As for our next coming tutorial, I'll show you how to add assets to your project from Blender. Also a lot about the materials and the prefab. So do please subscribe and let me know what you want to see more.